Minister of Maharashtra, Shri Devendra Fadnavis Ji, to say a few words on this momentous occasion, sir. Union Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation, Dr. Mahesh Sharma Ji, my colleagues, Shri Vinod Tavde Ji, Shri Ram Shinde Ji, Poonam Mahajan Ji, Parag Aravni Ji, Secretary Tourism and Culture, Walsa Nair Singh, MD, MTDC, Shri Parag Jain Nanotia, Joint MD, Shri Satish Soni, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this first ever Maharashtra International Travel Mart. And I'm happy with the response we got for this travel mart because this morning I opened the exhibition where I could see all the who's who from travel and tourism industry, including the stakeholders from various states who have showcased their strengths in the exhibition and lot of exchanges and engagements are happening in the exhibition. It also gives me pleasure and pride to announce that from today, the first ever center of scuba diving in entire India has become officially operational in Sindhudurg of Maharashtra. I think that would be added international advantage for tourists who are visiting Maharashtra. The organizational and managerial strength of Maharashtra has been recently showcased when we announced that this time the Sihastha Mahakumbha at Nashik and Trambak would be a green kumbha, Harit kumbha. And I'm happy to announce that 20 million pilgrims and tourists visited Nashik and Trambak and on the second day the entire city was totally clean not a plastic, nothing lying on the streets. And uh, Amit ji, I would like to apologize that the Hindi films have lost their popular plot. Ek bhi bhai is kumbha mele mein bichhada nahi. Not a single person lost. So now we need to move to another plot for our Hindi films. This is the strength of Maharashtra, where two crore people come, not a single person is lost, no incidents, everything absolutely smooth, each person gets a holy dip, and everybody is welcomed by the people of Nasik and Trembak. I think this is the culture of Maharashtra and we want to showcase this culture. What India has to offer, what Maharashtra has to offer, it's not just our places, it's not just our coastline or our forests, our tigers, our mountains, our forts of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, it's also our culture. It's because when I went to China and I visited Dunhong, 
the famous caves and i came to know that a person started from ajanta traveled 5000 kilometers in china through silk route went to dunhuang and the knowledge to make caves was carried by the person from ajanta and the same replica of ajanta caves were created in dunhuang it's this culture which we want to showcase it's this culture which we want to tell the entire world that we originated it my friends from wakayama prefecture of japan are here and they invited us to koyasan and when we went to koyasan we went to a pagoda where there was a big statue of lord buddha on one hand there was ma kali and on other hand there was ma saraswati and when the buddhism was introduced they said the sect to which we belong five of our forefathers of our sect are the indians and it's a sect which was started by nagarjuna and when we went to the monastery at koyasan where the great kobo daichi who brought buddhism to japan is in enlightened stage in a cave at koyasan and we offered prayers there two of the biggest buddhist monks were with us and they offered the prayer and at the end of prayer they said did you realize in which language we offered the prayer i said which they said in sanskrit of course this is our gift to entire world we have a culture which we can showcase and entire world wants to actually look into the footprints of the culture which they can find in maharashtra in india i feel that this travel mart is to explore these opportunities this travel mart is to bring the entire world closer and to empower communities because as rightly said it's a economic multiplier through tourism we can economically empower the communities and that is why our biggest thrust is on is in doing business in tourism industry and i would like to congratulate our secretary walsan nair singh with whose initiatives the ease of doing business is happening and earlier for an hospitality industry if you wanted to set up a hotel or something in the hospitality industry you required 71 licenses now they are being brought down to 25 and those 25 licenses are combined into six licenses so from 71 applications you need to apply on a single form for six licenses on a digital platform <coughs> and you will get it in minimal time as rightly said by amitab ji all of us know that amitab ji is pride of india he is not only superstar of millennium amitab ji is real and real life hero we have seen many real life hero but for so many years we know amitab ji as real life hero and as rightly said by amitab ji mumbai can be a entertainment city of asia and for that again we need ease of doing business so the government of maharashtra again has set up to relax the regulatory framework wherein if anybody wants to conduct 
a shooting for a cinema or a documentary in Mumbai or in Maharashtra, they will have to apply online. And if they don't get the permission in seven days, it is deemed to be permitted and they can start the shooting. <laughs> Amit ji, Mumbai can be a city for live performances. And uh, as we went through the entire regulatory framework, we could understand that organizing a live show in Mumbai is a tough task. Even if you want to organize event in this hotel, you require so many permissions from uh, the police department, from the PWD department, from the electrical engineer. So we want to promote Mumbai and Maharashtra as an event destination. What we have decided is now we will designate most of the event uh, destinations as designated event destinations wherein if you hold an event at that destination, you will require no permission. You will just have to inform <laughs> that we are organizing an event here and no permission would be required. So for travel and tourism industry, we are taking many steps. And I would also like to inform you that within a week's time, we would circulate the draft of our new tourism policy to all stakeholders because we want our tourism industry in Maharashtra, especially the arrivals of tourists, to grow at 10% CAGR. And we feel that by 2025, it would generate a GDP of 30,000 crores. And to actually fuel it, we would circulate the draft of our tourism policy, which is basically aimed at a lot of private investment into the tourism sector. And all of you who matter in the travel and tourism industry are welcome to give your suggestions so that we make it one of the best policies of entire country, which should be tourist friendly, tourism operator friendly, tourist operator friendly, and which should actually be aimed at ease of doing business. With this, I would once again like to thank Dr. Sharma for actually taking out time and coming all the way from Delhi. And I'm sure under his leadership, the tourism industry in India will grow manifold. I also take this opportunity to thank Sri Amitabh Bachchanji because I have seen whenever, for whatever cause, we wanted him, he was always ready. We all know that he is a superstar and a person behind whom everybody is ready to run, behind whom everybody is actually crazy. But whenever we went to him and we requested him for a social cause, Amit ji, we need you, the state needs you, he did not take a single minute to respond yes. Every time he made it a point that he is present in the program and for all social causes, Amit ji has used all his goodwill to communicate with the people. I welcome you all and I wish that this Maharashtra International Travel Mart would be one of the most successful events in the tourism industry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sri Fadnavis ji. And thank you for ensuring good governance because of which the tourism industry is going to flourish in Maharashtra. And with ease of business, we are so looking forward to that. A big round of applause for Sir. I would now like...